The gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Cleaver, is now recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, Madam Secretary, thank you for being here today. I, I want to follow up on my uh, friend and colleague's uh, question, Mr. Scott, earlier. I think he started out in this direction and then was running out of time and, and went in another direction. Um, in my uh, community, uh, Kansas City, Missouri, the, 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 there is a, a great deal of concern, um, and I, I would imagine around the whole country, you know, that uh, pandemic uh, is not taking all of the lives that, that it was taking a couple of years ago, uh, but its impact is, is still here, uh, particularly on, on the economic level. Uh, we are uh, probably all over the country concerned, or should be, I think, uh, of that TRIP uh, company's analysis uh, of commercial real estate. Um, and they, they, gave, they, they issued a frightening report, frightening is my adjective, uh, that uh, there, there is about a $448 billion worth of loans that uh, matured uh, last year. Uh, 270 billion of which uh, went to uh, were from banks, and uh, we're having people breaking leases. Uh, we have uh, others trying to renegotiate uh, leases. In my estimation, we, we've got a problem with our commercial real estate, and it could uh, impact. And I think that's where Mr. Scott was going. It could impact other components of the uh, uh, economy. Uh, do you have a, a concern uh, about where uh, commercial real estate is and, and may continue to go? Yes, I do have a concern about commercial real estate. Um, we discuss it in the FSOC annual report, and FSOC has been quite focused on it. Um, the banking supervisors have also been focused on commercial real estate and um, are working closely with the banks they supervise to discuss ways to manage and work with borrowers who have problems. Um, they're, um, in some cases, um, working to make sure that loan loss reserves are built up to um, cover losses, that uh, dividend policies are appropriate, that liquidity is adequate, so um, the higher interest rate environment, and in some cases, particularly the case of office building, shifts in work patterns due to the pandemic, um, coupled with many commercial real estate loans coming due and needing to be financed, refinanced in a context where uh, vacancy rates in some cities are um, quite high um, is going to put a lot of stress on the owners of these properties. And so um, the banking agencies are very focused in helping the banks manage, th manage through these situations. So you're concerned but not distressed. Uh, is that? Yes, I mean, I'm concerned. I believe it's manageable, although there may be some institutions that are quite stressed by this problem. Thank you. Uh, uh, Madam Secretary, uh, uh, are you familiar with Larry Kudlow, the former director of the National Economic Council? Sure. Um, three days ago, he, he said that, well, he conceded that his prediction of a uh, recession uh, was wrong and admitted that the U.S. economy is doing much better than expected under President Joe Biden. And he said that on Fox News. Um, he, he offered a mea culpa uh, because he had, if you look at some of his com uh, comments previous to that, he, everything was horrible. Do you agree with Mr. Kudlow that the U.S. economy is headed in the right direction? I absolutely believe it's headed in the right direction. Um, our growth is extremely strong. The labor market is um, at least as strong as it was prior to the pandemic. Um, we've got um, 
it's been 50 years since we've had a string of unemployment rates this long under 4%. Um, and job creation remains utterly robust. More people are participating in the labor market. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman's time has expired.